All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new Car 5 Vanguard video for you guys today, and today we are playing Dimensional Robos. So, if you guys saw my video yesterday, I went through all the cards, talked about how I felt about them, and I knew I wanted to make a deck as soon as possible and try it out. So, here we are. We're going to run through the cards real quick for anybody that didn't see that last video, and then we're going to talk about the deck build and why we made these choices, and then we're going to go and find a game. We're on Card Fight area, unfortunately. It takes a little bit for Vanguard Pro to catch up. Uh, they usually wait till an entire set is released before they they start putting those cards into the game. Otherwise, they'd be updating over and over again. So let me just move my head real quick. Boop. All right. So obviously we got our starter. That's important for the way this deck works. Dylander, our grade one. Uh, I might actually up this to two. Nah, it's fine. It's fine at one. There's you're good with one of in this deck because you you have so many ways to recycle cards into the soul to use their effects again but for anybody that doesn't know what the grade one does when it's rolled on by grade two you search your deck for your base which is this thing and you add it to your hand shuffle your deck when it when this unit is called from to rear guard from soul by a card ability if you have a grade three greater vanguard with dilution in its card name all your vanguards and this unit gain 5k i'm gonna skip to the base just so you guys know what it does real quick so you understand why how the other cards are supposed to work in with it so it's a grade zero order so you can start playing it as early as turn one act order zone if you have a vanguard with dimensional robins card name rest this card and energy charge one choose one of your grade two or less cards with dimensional robins card name from your drop put it into your soul if this card was put into the order zone this turn you may search your deck instead of choosing from your drop and put it into the soul if you search the deck shuffle the deck act order zone if you have a vanguard with dimensional robins card name Energy Blast 2, rest this card, choose up to one grade 2 or less card with Dimensional Robo Wins card name from the soul, call it to rear guard. So you get to uh, fill up your soul to then call dudes from the soul. And if the turn you play your order, you actually get to search your deck. Dimensional Robo Die Dragon. When this unit is rolled upon by a grade 3 with Dilution's card name, call this card to rear guard. When this unit is placed on rear guard from the soul by your card's ability, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Dilution its card name until the end of your opponent's next turn, this unit gets. When your vanguard is attacked, retire this card. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets 15,000 power until end of turn. That It gets that red skill. And it gains 5,000 power. It uh, The way they word it, it sounds like the 5,000 power is going to the vanguard, but it's not. Uh, Super Dimension Robo Dayusha. When this unit attacks, counter blast one and draw a card. If your opponent's vanguard is great through or greater, choose any number of your dimensional robos and they gain 5,000 power until end of turn. They all have to have different names. So if you have a full board of different dimensional robots, they all gain 5k, which is which can be pretty devastating. At the end of the battle, if this unit attacked, put a card from your hand into the soul. Stay in this unit and it gets drive minus two until the end of that turn. If your bind zone does not have a dimensional robo go Yusha and you persona roll this turn, bind a dimensional robo go Yusha from your soul, and this unit gets plus one drive until the end of turn. So you won't see that till turn four, which is kind of sucks. But it is a nice way to get another drive check and just add a little bit more pressure. You do have a, a Vanguard that you can restand every single turn, super easy, so I like that. As far as our trigger lineup goes, we went heavy crit, because obviously the crits on a restander are always good. We're using the, the Brent Gate over trigger for the double attack and double crit. And we're playing draw triggers since we do have to, you know, put cards into the soul to be able to use them. And of course, four heals. We have our base. We're playing Bow of Mind for Counter Charge. The deck doesn't Counter Blast too much. The only cards that I think Counter Blast are Dimensional World with Ayusha itself, Die Lady, and we are playing our Cycler, so we can't actually use the Counter Blast for that if we want to save on energy. So just having Bow of Mind to get those those costs back just in case, always good. We've got our three PGs, our one element higher Sanctitude, since we're playing a Grade Three deck. Uh, this card comes out in Set Two: White Flash Scythe Ball Baldurine. This is their Sargeon slash Shenry clone. During the battle that this unit boosted, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard and you have two or more set orders in your order zone, this unit is 5,000 power, super easy for just about any brand gate deck. At the end of the battle that this unit boosted, if you have a set order in your order zone, put this unit into the soul, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose one grade two or greater unit card, or set order, reveal it, and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. We want to get as many bases as possible so that we can keep on recycling our resources. Uh, it can get us a Persona Ride, it can get us Rear Guards to call, or just uh, small shield values, like it's it's a solid card. 
Uh, Dimensional Robo Die Battles. I'm running this at two because of its second effect, but we don't really need to. I was gonna run it at one, but I had the extra space and I didn't really know what to, what to tech in. So here we are. Act Soul once per turn. If your Vanguard is Dimensional Robo Die Dragon, your opponent's Vanguard is grade two or greater, and your soul has Dimensional Robo Goyusha, Dimensional Robo Die Lander, and Dimensional Robo Die Mariner, put a card from your hand into the soul, choose up to one Super Dimensional Robo Die Yusha from your ride deck and ride it as stand. I love this effect because if you went second, this basically lets you get to grade three a turn early. So you're gonna go from grade one to grade two to grade three all in one turn. It does cost two cards out of hand and a little bit of a setup, but the setup is so super easy. So here we go. You ride grade two, that's your die dragon. Goyush is your starter. Die landers are grade one, so those are already gonna be in soul. If you have a base, when you play the base, you can put die battles in from deck into soul the turn you play it. And now if you either get a second one, or if you see die mariner itself, you easily get that into soul and boom, you ride to grade three. So it's super easy to set up. I'll explain why with die mariner in a second. Second effect, when this unit is placed on rear guard from the soul by your card's ability, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with Dayusha in its card name, and your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, your vanguard's original critical becomes two until the end of turn. The reason I decided to put this at two is because there are uh, decks out there that bind rear guards. We don't want to see this get bound because that second effect is nuts. Being able to give our Vanguard a crit, as we already talked about, our Vanguard is a restander. That's so much damage, so easy. I'd rather be able to at least make sure I can try and play this. Next, we got Dimensional Robo Die Mariner. When this card is discarded from your hand during your turn, you may put it into the soul. So the only card, that, the only cost that we'd have that discards is for ride. So if we discard this for ride, we can put it into soul. Easy way to get our, our superior ride. When this unit is placed on rear guard from the soul by your card's ability, if you have a great three or greater Vanguard with Dayusha in its card name, until the end of turn, this unit gets 2,000 power and your opponent cannot intercept. I know that doesn't sound great. I feel like it should have been 5,000 power, but that's beside the point. But the not being able to intercept, again, being that I play Varga Dragress, I can tell you how annoying that is when you, you can't intercept and you need the defensive option. That's why that grade one for Varga coming out in set two is so strong. Uh, so solid card. Probably the worst of the Dimensional Robos, but still an okay card. We're playing our four Energy Cyclers, Draw Power, uh, Search is our set order. So it helps us get into, you know, getting more bases, which facilitates our combos. We got Super Dimensional Robo the Lady. And like I said in the last video, uh, she built different. You know what I mean. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a Vanguard Dimensional Robo in its card name, Counter Blast 1, search your deck for up to one base card, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater vanguard, if you have your order zone has two or more bases, this unit gets 10,000 powers on end of battle. The only one that doesn't need to be called from the soul. So this is our main beater. And lastly, we're playing Radiance, Caliburn, uh, draw power, soul and counter charge if we need it. It just, it's an okay card. But this is the deck. I threw it together. It took me like five minutes, but we're gonna go find a game and we're gonna go see how we do. So enough for me, let's jump in. All right, we got a game. And we're going first. It's funny, I actually kind of wanted to go second and see if I can, how easy I can get the Superior Rod. Oh, no, he going, he, he's going first. Okay, never mind. But yeah, good, we can we can, do, we can try for the Superior Rod. All right, so I'm actually gonna send this whole hand back because we want to try and see Die Mariner. Uh, I kind of want to, nah, nah. Mm, we are going second, yeah, I'll keep the Cycler. All right, we're good. We have the spear on. Are we playing against Buff Sagra? Are we playing against my baby girl? Is this real? It is Buff Sagra, baby girl. I'm so sorry, we gotta beat your ass. So he rides grade one, he's soul blasting one. He's gonna search his shield. He got his energy generator and this turns over. All right, we're gonna draw. All right, we're gonna start off by discarding Die Mariner, which is perfect. Oh, boom. And we had to top deck the card and mill it in order to, to use it because uh, sometimes you won't let you discard. And now we're going to ride Die Lande. Going to get our energy generator. I need to charge three and now we get to use some effects. So this guy goes to soul. Grade one is going to search us a base, which we already have another one, which is dope. 
shuffle, and then lastly, our starter skill, which is going to let us draw another card. So we just got a shitload of advantage off of that. <laughs> now we're going to play our base, which is going to rest energy charge one, and then search our deck for a D robo and put it into the soul. So we're actually going to grab the other copy of Die Battles. This is why we wanted to run two. Where is it? That's that base. There's that battles. Bam. So we already have everything we need for the spear rod. So next turn, we're going to discard Ride to Die Dragon, and then we're going to go straight into that and to uh, Dayusha. Um, mm, I don't think I want. Mm, yeah, we're gonna call. We're gonna call that battles. Battle phase swing. I probably could have saved the extra card, but this is Bof Sagra. We want to be able to rush a little bit. So he's discarding the shield, riding Halibaja. Halibaja adds an arm back, so he's adding back the shield. So blasting one to check top seven. Ooh, they got their spear. All right, so they're good to go. And a Shenry. Hold on. Is this my build? That's fine. We don't care about that. We're going to have access to soul anyway. We're going to no guard this. Since we have no damage. Bam. Heal trigger. And that did turn. Uh, um, we'll take it. Just because we have... Uh, oh, never mind. We're going to stay at one damage. I was gonna take it to use it with Die Lady, but hey, whatever, whatever floats your boat. All right, we're gonna draw. I'm gonna discard to ride. Skill. We're gonna energy blast three since we're already at energy seven. Two, three to draw. Bro, we have all our bases, almost all our bases. Um. What's in my soul? We have everything. Does this get back from drop? Okay, the only thing we don't have a way to get our bases back from drop, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. So we're going to use skill. So we're going to take a card from hand, put it into the soul. Actually, this is actually good. No, no, we want our beaters. We want our beaters. So normally I would put a Dimensional Rubble we want to call it from our hand into soul, but we want to be able to play our grade twos so that we can beat our opponent's ass. And now we get to ride straight up into Daisha. That's crazy. <laughs> that is cool. We're going to play another base. Skill. We're going to search our de deck or drop. Um, let's go with deck. What do we have in deck that we want to put into... The soul. Um, Alright, we gotta rest it. We gotta rest it and energy charge one. I forgot. So we can call one unit from the soul with die base. Uh, we'll put another mariner into the soul. Because we're gonna call mariner from the soul this turn to stop our opponent from intercepting. And they want to be able to do it again next turn. So we got deck thinning. Uh, we're going to call this. This is going to gain 5k since we have... We are at grade 3 and we have 2 bases. We're going to Energy Blast 2. And we're going to call... This guy. Skill. Gains 2k power. No intercepts this turn. I'm actually going to call it... Mm, yeah, we're going to call it up here. So it gains 2k, no intercepts, and we're going to call Dead Lady from hand. And then we're not going to use Dead Lady's skill. Nope, our opponent needs to be at grade 3, so we can. So we're going to use this, kind of blast 1, we're going to search another base. Bam. I was going to save the kind of blast for Dayusha's skill, but I forgot our opponent needs to be at grade 3 for Dayusha's skill. So we're looking good. <laughs> so now we're going to go battle phase. Uh, has to attack a grade 3 to gain its power, so we're just going to go 
swing. All right, twin drive one. Oh my God. Well then, uh, uh, we're gonna give the hundred million power here. We're gonna gain thirteen k to the Vanguard, ten k over here, and thirteen k over here. And our Vanguard's gonna get plus one critical. Actually, our whole front row gets critical. Um, that was first drive check. Second check. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess we're not gonna do. We're not gonna restand because we don't want to put the. We don't need to get rid of the card, so we'll just go for the rear guards. Uh, so we're gonna go. Sure, take out take out Divstia, and then take out the other rear guard, Cindy, and then skill. Uh, da -da -da -da. So put the shooter into the soul. Top five. Whoops. Now we add a grade to a greater, an order, or in this case, we'll add Dayusha. And shuffle. That was a pretty productive turn. We got almost our entire setup. We already pulled all our bases out of deck. Our soul is stacked to start calling cards. I think we're looking all right. I think we're looking all right. As a matter of fact, like I can play the base, not put a card into soul, and just call out a whole board. Now we need to be careful. Buff Sour can get pretty scary. He's gonna retire my front row, which does suck a little bit, but that's fine. Not a big deal. I'm in the axe. Doesn't matter, I can't use the axe because they already armed the shield. They should, the smart thing would have been to arm the spear Use Divstia to search the axe and then arm the axe. Okay, this is not my build. I do want to see if there's a way to get back our uh, our orders from the drop. Because I would discard them for PG fodder, but there's no way for me to get them back. So instead, we're going to do this. And discard that. Easy. I don't like that they get to heal, but it's okay. Uh, we'll take that one. Hey, look, we also get to heal. Man, this game is going to be long. <laughs> Alright, we're going to stand and draw. We're going to ride. Which lets us draw. We're going to play another base. I actually think I'm just going to use the bases to play cards. No, wait. Because the... I mean, I could play three. Um, no, we'll, we'll keep it going. We're going to charge one and put a card from our drop. Mm. Into the soul. Now we're going to energy blast two. Rest this to call one. Uh, we want to be careful with our front row because they're going to get retired. So... We're gonna call out Dimariner. No intercepts. Um, we'll do it like this. We'll leave him there. Then we're going to energy blast another two to call die battles. Uh, we'll call that battles over here. And then skill. Dayusha's gonna get a critical. And then call. And we don't use the skill because we already have our last base. So this one's gonna gain 10k when she attacks. Skill, counter blast one. All of our D row was gonna gain 5k. Battle phase, we're gonna swing for two. I didn't do it. using the shield okay twin drive one two that hurts actually skill I can't believe that they just guarded with the draw trigger and we were able to shut me down 
Uh, we're gonna put this into the sole. Restand. And now we're gonna bind Goyusha. One drive. Okay. So that's a no pass. Okay. Critical. Uh, we'll give it here with that. We're gonna swing here. Take out the Divshtia. Divshtia is just too good of a beater. Um, hmm. You have the axe in hand, so you're gonna use that. Do we want to take out the Kangshadi? Nah. We'll do, we'll go for damage this turn. All right. Boop. All right, I already see some problems. We definitely gonna need a little bit more card draw. Oh wait, doesn't this get from the drop? Search your deck for one grade three or greater units. Card with a different name from your Vanguard or one set order. No, it doesn't. We might actually want to play the Soul Blast one because the Soul Blast one can, I believe, get one from drop. I gotta double check. I also think we're going to need a little bit of draw power. We haven't hit any draw triggers because we haven't been taking that much damage, but we're going to see what happens. So they use the Kong Shoddy skill. That's fine. Now he's still blasting to retire my front row. Uh, we're probably going to just eat the Vanguard. Alright, Verilord's okay. He's blowing out a lot of cards. <laughs> and I am here for it. Uh, 19. We'll guard that. I don't know why you did that. Why would you... I don't know why they did that. Verilord gives 10k to the front row. Hmm. I do not know why they did that. Uh-oh. One, draw trigger, yay. Two, three. All right, we got a PG for that. And we'll discard you. All right, now we go and push. All right, we don't have a Persona Ride, which does blow, but we have this. So now we're going to energy charge one. And we're gonna put die battles back into the soul. So now we're going to energy blast three. Rest. Call die battles back out. Which is going, we're gonna put die battles over here. And then we're gonna do it again. And this time we're gonna call die lady. And then we're going to call a dead lady from hand. And a boat mine. And now these all gain 5k. This gains 5k. And this gains 5k. I forgot to shut off intercepts, but it's fine. And then this is going to give our Vanguard a crit. So now we're going to go swing in. Thirty-three. That's one to pass. Two to pass. Okay. I'm gonna give all effects to the Vanguard since we got a restander. And look at that. And now they die. So that would, regardless, that was a viable strategy because we have a restander. Even if they had guard, even if they, if I didn't think I was gonna get the second trigger, I was going to restand and swing again with three damage, with three attack, with, with another three damage. So I would have been another, I was already at 18, I would have been at 28 for three. So now they have to guard that attack too. I wouldn't have got a drive track, I forgot. Cause I don't have to go Yusha again. But then we still have these two rear guards swinging for a lot. Could we have pushed through if we hadn't got the criticals? Who knows, but we take that game. 
Uh, here's the deck again, guys. Not a bad showing for its first game. Uh, I do think the deck needs a little bit of draw power, so we will be tweaking some of the ratios there. Uh, we had a lot of soul that we didn't need. I was kind of surprised. The superior ride was super easy to pull off. And uh, yeah, the deck feels good at a start. It's just going to take some tweaking to really get it where it would be a contender. But it's definitely going to have some fun interactions that I can't wait to try out. But let me know how you guys are feeling about the deck. Let me know how you guys thought about this first video. Let me know what builds you guys are trying. If you guys want to help us tweak this live, I'll probably be messing with this deck on stream tonight. That'll be around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time if you guys want to come hang out, talk some Vanguard, build some decks. I also need to mess with Welstra again. And I think there's one other deck that we want to mess with, but those are all going to be on stream. And I would love to have your guys' opinions and thoughts. That is it for me, guys. If you want to check me out on social media, those links will be down below. And I'll catch you on the next video. Later.